Hello everyone, I'm Sean. This is Hoon. And we are the Courageous Frights, back with another movie review. Yes. So this time we watched the French horror movie Infested. The Mines. The mean. Um, This is on Shudder. Yes. So this is directed by Sebastian Vanacek, who yeah. is kind of, has been tapped already to do another Evil Dead movie. Yeah, I think he's, he seems like he's, is he like a well-known director or something? I think because... this is his first big movie, though. So uh, okay. I he, I think this is the movie that got him the Evil Dead uh, oh, okay. franchise. Yeah, so, I just looked at his uh his thing. It's Infested Crocs, which is a short film. Yeah, so he probably did some shorts. And this is like his full, full first full movie. Yeah. So, this is uh, obviously a spider movie. Yeah. Which you can tell by the posters. Yeah. And uh, it, it's sort of like a French arachnophobia. Yeah. So we just did Sting, which is uh, weirdly our best performing review ever. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> you guys really love Sting. Yeah. Um, so this is the other Spider movie. Yeah. The one that's probably actually more well known than Sting. Because yeah. I don't think anybody's talking about Sting, really. No. This one was making waves in, like, film festivals and stuff like that. Yeah. So, this movie begins in where I think is North Africa. I don't remember if it actually explains where that is. If that's no, like I don't. Nigeria or something? Yeah. It, it must have been around that area, because it, it didn't... I don't think it explained anything, really, No, about it's just, like, you just see these people in, like, the Middle East or North Africa... And they're like digging up. They find a hole in the ground. Yeah. And then they just pull out all these spiders. Yeah, they try to like smoke out the spiders to try to like yeah capture them to catch them to I guess to sell, them. sell them in like the black market. Which yeah. I don't know. Does a French have a big like endangered animal black market or something? Well, I think everybody does with this. Because everyone seems to have one. <laughs> like it's like okay, the guy is selling it, and then the other guy that was with he like had one. Yeah. It's like okay. Yeah, because oh, I mean one thing. When I was in Japan during the pandemic and stuff, YouTube decided to recommend me a whole bunch of videos about people with, like, tarantulas yeah. and scorpions and crap. Yeah. <laughs> so, for some reason, because I watched one of those videos, my whole YouTube feed was just nothing but, like, people that keep exotic pets. That's, like, my JoJo video. Yeah, <laughs> just watch one JoJo, JoJo meme. meme video. Yeah. And then that's about it. You're done. So, I ended up watching all this, these tarantula videos all the time. So that is definitely a thing. People do keep a lot of exotic pets. Um, yeah. A lot of spiders. And it's not regulated well. Yeah. Just like in this movie. Because yeah, it's like on the black market type of thing. Right. Yeah. You'll just order tarantulas from some guy in Thailand and they just show up at your door. And half the time <laughs> you don't even know what species it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's like, like. great. The guy selling it doesn't even know what species it is. So it's. And I don't, I'm sure it's strictly not fully legal, but yeah. people do it anyway. So, in this film, they get these spiders. This guy named Caleb yeah. is our main character. He's kind of a douchebag. Yeah, he's kind of unlikable, I think. But Yeah, personally, he's kind of a jerk. But he collects a lot of spiders, and he has scorpions, he has, like, centipedes. Yeah, he has, he has like, all these poisonous animals in his bedroom i guess yeah he says something about having a reptile thing but he has no reptiles yeah i think he yeah i guess he did say something about that i don't he did, think he yeah had one. he was like trying to create like i don't know said something about making like a reptile house or something yeah but it's I, like you don't have any reptiles dude <laughs> and the reason why he does that is because like it reminds him of his like family or something yeah he reminds me of his his lizard family yeah. <laughs> his lizard people family He's like a chud. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. It, so he gets this spider from a guy. Yeah. And uh, it gets loose. Yeah. Because he of him. He's also selling shoes. Yeah. Like black market shoes or some crap like that. And all the boxes he has has like holes in it and they just look horrible. Yeah. So, so he like, decides to keep the spider in a shoebox. Drops it into a shoebox that... With like a big, like it doesn't have a hole in it really. It has like a small hole, but the spider makes a hole. It makes a out. bigger hole and then it crawls out. Yeah. So it was in a sealed container when he bought it. Yeah. But then he's like, oh, you need more room. So I'll put you in 
this shoe box. Yeah. It's like, why didn't you wait until you had a ter- the one of the terranium? Yeah, because he said he was gonna put it in the terranium intimately. So <laughs> that was a line from Sting. By the way. <laughs> that's a Sting. Quote. Yeah, that's a Sting. But uh, quote. this inevitably is gonna be compared to Sting. Yeah. Because it's two giant spider movies that came out at the same time. Yeah. But yeah, it gets lo- well. First, it gets loose. Yeah. Then he goes back to the room and he finds a cocoon. What he yeah. thinks is a cocoon. And he picks it up and puts it into another shoebox. Yeah, he just throws it into a shoebox and then throws it under his bed. Yeah. It's and like then it's great. like... But... I don't fully understand how all these spiders appeared. Yeah. Because that one's still in his room. Yeah. But he sells the shoes to some guy in his apartment. And when the guy goes to put the shoes on... Like, a million baby spiders come running out and, like, basically devour the dude. Yeah, because he, he puts a shoe in, his foot in the shoe or whatever, and it has a spider in it. Yeah. That's why he's like, he's like he told me this was clean or whatever. And all these baby spiders come running out. Yeah, and then but, he kills it, and then his dog eats the dead spider. Yeah. But the casing that the dude found in his own apartment... Is in a different shoebox. So yeah. where did those baby spiders come from? I don't know. <laughs> Unless that was the original spider, maybe it may just it may was just producing a ton of like eggs. It did like, just lay like multiple egg sets. Yeah, like, all just over like, the house. All yeah, just all room. over his shoeboxes and stuff. Okay. It, yeah, I guess it did, that didn't make any sense. No, because the other the other one's still there. Because later they go and they open up the shoebox and it's full of all these spiders. Yeah, and then he gets like the the. Uh, the duct tape or whatever and closes it up yeah so there's like another subplot where like the uh, tenant guy is like you are selling drugs in here or whatever right you're a drug dealer and the guy's like i sell shoes yeah that that's the whole overarching yeah so like the french film as you can tell from the title here the french film it translates to vermin obviously yeah and the double meaning here is that the spiders are vermin but then also all of our characters live in kind of... Like poverty type of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like a housing pro. It's like the project yeah. in Paris. And all the characters are either like from immigrant families or lower class families yeah. in France. And they're treated like vermin by like, like the, the French. rest of France. Yeah. So there's a lot of social commentary. Yeah. Social commentary is very strong in this movie. Yeah. It beats you over the head with it at some points. Yeah. Um... And that's one of the problems you had with it. Yeah, and that it's, was it was unnecessary at points. Yeah, because it be, there becomes this very strong anti police message. Yeah, to the point of stupidity. Yeah, like you can make a case against like police brutality or the system or whatever, but skipping ahead towards I guess towards the end of the movie because yeah. we're not going to do a blow by blow description of this. There's a part in the movie where they basically have them all arrested yeah because they've been like dealing. quarantined or something in yeah the they quarantined the building some the, the guy that got bit by the spiders they take them away on a stretcher and yeah. then apparently they know what type of spider did it because then all they immediately lock the building down and yeah it was like out. literally like one scene was taking the guy that got bit by the spiders because he was mm-hmm. like convulsing on the yeah. ground it took him to the hospital imagine <laughs> i guess yeah, i guess and then the next scene, the police are there, is like, we're quarantining the building. Basically. Right. That was literally the next scene. It was like, we're quarantining the building, you can't leave. Yeah. So these guys are pissed at the cops because they quarantine down the building. There's a part where they have to, like, this, like, harrowing scene where they have to sneak through this hall, this corridor. Yeah, which is full of spiders. Full of spiders. They get to the end and try to open the door and the police won't let them out. Yeah, they're like, we're, ha- we're part of that, we're in the, pl- like, in the parking lot we can't open the door you're quarantined yeah and then it's like oh you gotta open the door there's a lot of people in here it's like well you're quarantined we're not yeah. opening the door you don't want these things getting loose into paris yeah like that's that makes sense yeah like, as much as it sucks that you guys are stuck in this building with this spider horde yeah um in caleb's case you've done that yourself yeah and that's so. <laughs> that's the thing i i think is the like i have a person like personal problem with that is yeah yeah you can say it's about police brutality and stuff but the point is, the main character was the cause of all this. Yes. And he didn't really resolve that. He was no. just like, it's the police fault because they wouldn't let us out. 
No, it's your fault. Yeah, you're, you're the one who did spider it. Spider in. You have done this yourself, and that's the pro- that's what I have an issue with. Yeah, it's like the main character is not actually like resolving his issue. <laughs> No. He's just blaming it on something else. Every character who died in this film, yeah. there's a lot of people, Yeah, is 100% because of Caleb. Yeah. Like, Not because that? of the police, because no. they were dead, like, instantly. Yeah. Because the way this spider works is, like... Yeah, we'll talk about the spider here. Yeah, because if the guy gets bit in the foot, he goes and convulses, he dies, or whatever. Yeah. But the way the spider works, it lays eggs in the person. Yeah. So then they grow, they, like... The guy, one guy talks about Darwin all the time. Which doesn't apply to yeah. the situation at all. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Because like, it happens on a matter of like days. This whole film's like a day long. Yeah. And there's like 10 billion spiders by the end of it. All different sizes. Yeah, so they basically must grow in the per- like the host. Yeah. And they grow bigger based on which host it is. This spider just does whatever the hell it wants. Yeah. Because the dog ate a dead spider. Yeah. That we said earlier. Yeah. The dog, like, the next day dies because it just falls over and then like a giant spider bursts out of its belly yeah so it must have ate the spider that had must have some eggs in it or something i guess i don't know but like if you touch these things wrong you're instantly impregnated yeah it just like kills you and like it like later on you see like in the ceiling it's like they pulling up like people into the ceiling yeah they're like like, stringing them up on the ceiling and stuff what this spider is more than just a regular spider no it's this spider is more insane than the one in sting yeah. The one in Sting is more like a real spider than this spider. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. They found it in a hole in North Africa, but I have no idea where it came from. Yeah. It came from outer space. <laughs> yeah. Because alien spider. the one in Sting is an alien spider, and it has less insane abilities than this. Yeah, spider. this thing is like, it just reproduces, never ending. It's like... Yeah. It's never ending reprodu- reproduction. Their entire life cycle is like 20 minutes long. Yeah. It puts, like, the xenomorph to shame <laughs> yeah. in Alien vs. Predator. Like, it, it's at that point where the whole reproductive cycle is a matter of, like, ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and at one point, every generation gets twice as big as the previous yeah, generation. And that's why I, I think that's what I kept saying about Darwin. It's, like, it's trying to, like, evolve so it's, like, the highest species of, like prey or like it's not like predator i guess yeah, but the the finches on galapagos don't yeah. <laughs> double size with every generation yeah it's like it doesn't make any sense at the points yeah but <laughs> and the spider by the end of the movie there is a spider as big as a car yeah because they're trying to leave the building or whatever and it's yeah. like it stops because it, it acts kind of like a normal spider would when you try and light on. It just kind of stops. Well, this movie, that's one thing I will say about this movie. Sting, the spider, acts like a xenomorph. Yeah. This, the spiders act like spiders. Yeah, they actually act like an actual spider. They're all actual, like, spiders. They're not, like, gunning for you and hunting you like yeah. your prey. It's just, like, they, they, they happen to just like instinctively attack people yeah because if you're trying to attack them and then they go attack you or if you like touch their web or something yeah their intelligence then they'll act you they'll like attack you like attack you right their intelligence for last of a better lack of a better term is literal spider intelligence yeah like they're not like actually actively hunting people or yeah coordinating attacks or anything because plenty of times when they're walking down like the hallway is full spiders yeah that they just like kind of crawl in the web and they're not really attacking. Yeah, they're just kind of existing. Yeah, and there's a part where the spiders get all pissed. They get, they get all riled up because of whatever reason, and they're chasing the main characters. Yeah, but the guys keep shining lights on them and they freeze in place. Like, yeah, and the light hits them and stuff. Like they're easy to thwart. Then they they have like the the most inefficient light like fat flashlight in existence because that oh, one where they have, have to roll up one like of the they, stupid wind up ones. yeah wind up one that keeps dying every yeah. two seconds. I have never seen in real life. I've seen them in a numerous like horror movies. Yeah, <laughs> they like exist only in horror films. Yeah, like, I've never seen one like that. And that's where that's another part where there's people still alive in there. Like not yeah. everyone died because there was people in the hallway. They're like, we need to get out of here, and they closed. The main character just closes the door on him and is like, stay in your building or whatever. It's like, yeah. you are such... <laughs> you guys are dicks. Yeah, you're just like a, a horrible but person. It, it's weird with Sting, though, because it's like in Sting, Sting the spider is intelligent. Yeah. Like, it has high levels of intelligence, 
But it itself is not much of a threat yeah. to society as a whole because it does lay eggs at the end, but it lays a batch of eggs, look like the eggs from like critters yeah. or something. And there's like maybe 10 eggs. Yeah. Like it's not. This thing's laying like a billion eggs. By yeah, this is the thousands, movie. like yeah, everywhere. Like this whole the literally the whole walls is covered in web. Yeah, and well, just spiders everywhere. Yeah, the the spider in Sting, which is specifically told to be an alien. Yeah, is in some ways more normal than this. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> so. And you would think that if you're the police, and they probably because they they there was a scene where. Caleb and them are like, you gotta open the door or whatever. Like, they're the cops are in the building at yeah. this point. It's like when they get arrested. Yeah. Because he shoots them with, like, the, I don't know, the the grenade launcher or something. Mm. It's like, obviously, they must have sent some, like, teams in there because they were in there. Yeah. They probably saw and was like, we need to, like, keep this from spreading. So, of course, they're gonna lock the door. It's probably, like, normal police procedure at this point. They're killing them, too. It's yeah. almost like the mist at the end where they're, like, you know, they figure out how to defeat the things by torching yeah. them. Yeah. Here, they're, like, freezing them somehow. Yeah, they're freezing them slowly and, like, trying to kill it, like, slowly so they're not, like, spreading it around right. everywhere. Which means, but... it, it, which means they're not a spider. It's, like, it's almost like a contagion that's shaped like a spider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's... Like, they have to use some special means of killing them yeah. by freezing them. Because apparently any other method, they could burst open and have a bunch of babies running around. Yeah, because so, all of them have, like, like suits and stuff. Like, those, like, hazmat suits. And they're just freezing them It slowly. almost reminds me of the stupid episode of Doctor Who. Yeah. It was a Peter Capaldi episode. that was about, it was like spiders on the moon. And <laughs> the moon spiders, it was like a giant spider, like, the size of, like, these things. Yeah. But... Apparently, according to the the show, they're one celled organisms. <laughs> it's like what? One celled organism spiders that look like a spider. Yeah, that's almost what this is like. It's yeah, like contagion shaped like a spider. That almost has that feeling to it. It's very bizarre. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was that was an issue I had with it. And then we're getting to the part that's really freaking stupid, which is. Like, the the culmination of your issue with the film. Yeah. And it's the part where they're, like... They have them all tied up. And they're, like... Because they're completely disrupting everything. Yeah. And then the one one jackass gets up and he just runs at the cop while yeah. he's tied and knocks him through the door. Yeah. And, like, thousands of spiders come pouring into, like, the parking garage. Yeah. And basically kill all the police. Yeah. Well, the police are trying to shoot them, like, try to kill them with their guns. Yeah. And then there's, <laughs> like, like well, no... Okay. There's no way of knowing that these things are contained. Yeah. And at the very end of the movie, they just demolish the building, like, after everybody's left. Yeah. And it's like, how do we know the spiders didn't get loose? Because it seems like if one of these damn things gets out, Paris is screwed. Yeah, and it's one of those things where I'm sure the way the police... Like, their mission was, or operations, where... Because if you got bit by them, you're not necessarily know that you got bit and, like, have a spider growing inside of you. Well, that's the thing, too, because at the very beginning of the movie, when the guys in, like, Algeria or wherever yeah. get the spider, one guy gets bit, and they just immediately kill that dude. Yeah. Because they know, like, I'm missing the Algerians or something. Whoever, wherever they were at. Yeah. Must know about the spider. And, so like, if you the get bit by this spider, you're immediately impregnated. Yeah. And now you're going to have, like, a thousand babies pop out of you. Yeah, because there's a couple times, like, then if you, like, get released out of your building and go out into the city and just be like, oh, I'm in, out in the subway or something. And yeah, and then you're just going to burst open in the subway and there's, like, like a million spiders. Yeah, and then you're going to be, like, like, best gigantic spiders. This is not a spider yeah and that's, <laughs> i don't know what this thing is but. and that's what i said that's the one thing i don't like because caleb is the one who caused all his problems well yeah he could have just ended this a long time ago and then at the end i mean spoilers i guess yeah he survives yeah he survives and then he's like what is he doing oh what is he doing exactly at the i end? have no idea he's out yeah. in the woods or something that's very yeah because they both they all left they literally just drove out like out of the parking garage <laughs> like yeah like, the door was open, so I'm sure the spiders would be leaving out of that place. They're probably everywhere. Yeah, they opened the door and then drove out and they just left the door open. Yeah. And there's a spider that's bigger than their car standing like, there. Like, police are probably still fighting them and stuff. They just drove out and yeah. they're like, Puggio or whatever. Yeah, and then they blew Citron. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like a Citronin or something. Yeah. But yeah, that was, uh, 
Yeah, that's basically the movie. Yeah, and that's and that makes a difference. Like, I want it to have a sequel. It's gonna be like it's probably gonna have a bunch of spiders on like the Eiffel Tower or something. Cause, yeah, that would just be like Paris is overrun with these. Yeah, things. like that would because be of Caleb. Is, yeah, yeah, it's all because of Caleb. Yeah, so like society just collapses. Because yeah, because of, of that. Because they're not gonna stay in France. They're yeah. just gonna spread everywhere. But yeah, it's it's ridiculous. The movie's very well made. Yeah, though. the movie is really well made. It's really well done. The social commentary is a bit heavy handed. Yeah, but that's French film too. I mean, they, a lot of movies do that. Yeah. Um, the characters are the typical kind of like lower class characters. That yeah. You see in a lot of French films, a lot of the social commentary centers around lower classes, immigrant yeah. families, that sort of thing. That's fairly common. The spiders are well designed. As somebody who's interested in spiders, I wasn't particularly scared of the early stages because they're literally just using a huntsman spider. Yeah. Which isn't dangerous at all. They're just big, but they're not dangerous. That would be like using like a camel spider or something like yeah. that. Because people are scared of them, but they're not dangerous. So, like, I like parts of it. It's a much better made film than Sting. Yeah, I do agree with that. But it does have some issues. Yeah. The spider is even weirder than the one in Sting that's supposed to be an alien. <laughs> this is more, like, dangerous. <laughs> this is far more dangerous. It's less intelligent. Yeah. But it's far more dangerous, and it's dangerous in the sense that it can just reproduce out of control. Yeah, it's, like, has no... Like, it, and then it, it does this in a matter of, like, days. Yeah. Not even a day. Probably, like, less than a day. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, it, it's too much. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just over the top to the extreme, even though the film itself is much more grounded than Sting. Yeah. <laughs> it's very bizarre between you compare the two. Yeah. If you're not just comparing the film, but the actual creature itself. Yeah. The creature is strange compared to, like, even Sting. Yeah. That one, that's special superpower is it can whistle. Yeah, it can whistle when it's hungry. <laughs> but this one's, like, can reproduce at an astronomical rate. Yeah, astronomical rate to, like... Exponentially reproduce. It just beats up Darwin. <laughs> Yeah. It became Darwin. It I is guess. Darwin. So, yeah, I would recommend checking it out, though. I mean, yeah, it is. Like I say, it is decent. And I guess this kind of would lead into how he would maybe even make his Evil Dead movie. Yes. Which, yeah, we'll talk about that last year. Yeah, because, like I said, I, I don't. Those are the major points that I would, we talked about earlier, but. Yeah, those are fair. But it, at the, overall, the movie is actually pretty decent. It's just, there are some things it's like, okay. Yeah, it, it, the the anti-police message, I understand, yeah. but it's like over the top. Yeah. Because it's like, they they kill everyone. Yeah. as Because the police are trying to stop them from spreading it yeah, across the country. around the country, where you would probably have that issue. Yeah, so... And also, like, the main character, Caleb. Specifically Caleb, not on anyone else. Yeah. Caleb, which is your main character, is well, not yeah, the best. But that's a problem with Sting, too, because yeah. the little girl that actually is the main character yeah. is the whole reason why anybody gets killed by Sting. <laughs> yeah, like, no. She finds an alien weird spider, and she's just like, I'm going to raise you. I'm going to raise you as my own. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what? fine. But yeah, both films have that in common. That yeah. like, some random person just decides to let them loose in their apartment. Yes. It's also an apartment building that nobody can get out of. Yeah. Because that movie, they're snowed in. In this movie, they're Yeah, it's like in. New York or it's like a blizzard or something. That would be like if Sting was super angry about the snow. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically the police in this. Yeah. The police fill the same role as the snow in Sting. Yeah. <laughs> but that's weird that they're so similar in that regard. Yeah. But yeah, Vanacek could do a really good job with Evil Dead. I don't know if they want to make a follow-up to Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. Because that's what I have in mind seeing this film. Yeah, because he did a pretty decent job being in a, like an apartment complex. He managed... I'm, as, I do like Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. But... As much as I like that movie, it failed to deliver on the premise of the apartment complex being overrun by Deadites. Yeah. Because it literally was just one floor, and there's like maybe five characters that aren't the main family. Yeah. So it's like you could have still just done that in the cabin in the woods. Like when I heard that it was Evil Dead in an apartment, I thought it was going to be like total carnage. Yeah. Like, there's one scene in that movie that's carnage, but it only happens on that one floor. Yeah, because the floor is, like, if, like even it has, like, commentary, because the one, it follows, in Evil Dead Rise, the one character that 
is at the beginning of the movie is like in that apartment complex. Yeah. <laughs> she literally is like, the power was just out. I didn't even notice that there was something going on, <laughs> even though they were shooting guns in the middle. <laughs> yeah. On the that floor, so. Okay. Yeah. I think, when I think of Evil Dead Rise, I think like, uh, well, the concept of Evil Dead. Yeah. I kind of get in the vision of like an entire, well, the whole building being overrun. Yeah. But, like, that would be hard to show at once. Unless you're, yeah. like, panning around or something. You need to have almost, like, a scene. Like, you could even do, like, the floor being taken over. Yeah. But, like, a fully occupied floor. Not just, like, one that has, like, five people in it. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're, like, condemning the building or something. Yeah. And, like, you know, like you could have the floor, like, wrap around. Yeah. And have, like, a whole bunch of stuff. With people being attacked all over the place. Like, I'm almost envisioning, like, um, John Wick 4 when it does the thing where the camera goes up on the ceiling. Yeah. But have, like, a whole bunch of people being attacked from, like, all the different angles yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Just complete and utter chaos. Yeah. And that would be something as what I was imagining would happen. But yeah. we didn't get that. No. Something like this almost does that better than Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. Because like, they, they show all different floors. They're going to different floors. They're, like, moving around the building all the time. Yeah. Like, they had, like, this one part with the lights, like, all screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Like, it never they works. That, they have a stupid... They have a... The, one of the gim- horror gimmicks... Yeah. ...is there's uh, one of those, like, clap-on light things. Yeah. Or, like, I think it's a motion sensor. Yeah, it mentioned sensor the light doesn't work. Or, like, the building in general is, like, kind of run down because, yeah. like... It's almost like a well, it's project like projects, or something. Yeah, exactly. It's like a weird circle thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a really weird looking building too. Yeah. It's like a perfect circle. Just... Like a circle building. Yeah. It's very strange. Made by know. Gozer. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like concentrate all the spirit energy, I guess. You don't want to be referencing Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, that's true. Get a, we'll get five <laughs> views on this video. Yeah. Now. Go watch our Ghostbusters Frozen Empire review. You could be <laughs> one of the ten people that saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Versus Sting, where we got 650 views. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for our review of Infested, or yes. Vemine, or whatever you want to call this movie. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you saw the movie, tell us what you thought in the comments. Mm-hmm. And uh, consider subscribing like the, for more videos like this in the future. And you too could feel the strong welling within. See ya. See ya.